everybody so today we'll be continuing on with the uh, widgets and menu UI the one we're going to be doing today is just going to be like an item menu functionality it's going to end up looking like this So whenever I right click on this, it's going to have a little drop down. We're going to have a couple of things we can do. Right now we've got the drop function and the, the uh, cancel working functionally. And also if you use it, but if you also click out of somewhere else, it, it exits out of it. And if you were to you know, use it and then drag it off, it's still going to drop it and get rid of it. I'm just going to show you how to use this functionally, get this working. Um, Again, all of this is for just a building for my portfolio and hopefully to learn with you guys. So, yeah, uh, just tag along with me. On the item menu widget, starting off, we're going to create a widget here. And we're going to call it the item menu widget. Inside of it, I designed it with four buttons. Use, destroy, drop, and cancel. Is what I have. It's got a couple texts in them. Each of them are a variable. Um, I put them inside of a vertical box just to keep them uh, nice and ordered. This was important for me. I'm not sure if it's going to be important for you. I'm using Unreal Engine uh, 5.1. So if you're following along with me and you're trying to do the same things I'm doing, and I just know I'm using Unreal Engine 5.1 and that this was important. Uh, to make sure that the border moved the way I wanted it to and went to the area that I wanted it to, or that the actual widget did. The, uh, so yes, I had to put this all of this vertical box inside of this border for some reason and um, make sure that it's a variable itself. Okay, and then inside of the graph for this, we're going to go ahead and go on do an over... Uh, on on press for the drop button, we're going to drag off the, uh, get the uh, owning player pawn, get the component by class AC inventory component, and we know that that already has the drop item function, so we're going to get that out. We're going to create a uh, BP master, uh, m master item of class reference, make sure it's uh, instance edible and exposed on spawn. But just call it held item. We're going to feed that into the item to spawn for the, the item for the drop. And then also call remove parent after that so that way it, after we drop the item it, it goes away. And then off of the on pressed of the cancel button we're just going to do remove parent. Pretty simple there. Moving on. Inside of the AC inventory component, this is where we're actually going to create the um, reference to it. So create a uh, widget reference of the WB item menu type. Just call it WB item menu. You don't need to set it here or pull it in, in it or anything. But you're going to go into the inventory slot next. And this is where the magic happens. So on our mouse down, which we had, um, but this one's going to check to see if our right mouse button has been clicked. If it has, we're going to perform this function here, which is actually a collapse function, and I'll open up in just a second. Just a second. But first, we'll need to create a pure function, which will be over here. I'm going to open it up. You're just going to do get owning player pawn, get component by class, AC inventory component. Of course, the one that we've been using this whole time. 
and then get the item menu that we just created and, ret and put, pull that into the return node. All right, and so, oh, I want one, one mouse button. So yes, yeah, so if you were just to get owning player pawn, owning player, and then, get AC, or get component by class, sorry. Ah, I can't spell y'all. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, AC inventory, right? And then we're gonna pull out of here the WB inventory, oh. Right? We're just turning all of this into a pure function. Collapse the function, and then we're going to call it as a pure function, which we've already done, so I'm not going to redo it. But that's how we did that. And once we've made that pure function, then we're going to put it all into this, and we're going to collapse it. But this is this is what it would all look like if we hadn't have shrunk it down into this. This right here. Is our is our pure function we just created that I made, I just told you guys about. And we're gonna get that item menu. All we're doing in this function is getting the item that the item menu reference, but we're getting it from the AC inventory uh, component. So we're getting the item menu. We're seeing if it's valid. If it is valid, we remove. If there's already one there, we're removing it from the parent. We're deleting it, and then we're creating it again just in case we, we click somewhere else or maybe there's a copy for some reason. If there isn't one already there, then we're just gonna create one. And we're, how do we, we're gonna create one and we're gonna set it in from the AC inventory component because that's where it is. It's not here in the inventory slot, it is in the AC inventory component. So that's why we set it from the AC inventory component right after we create it here. We add it to the viewport, just like any other widget. And, but to set the position, this was the part that I told you was important in the UE uh, engine 5.1. For some reason, I had to create a border. I couldn't just get the item menu and set its location, right, set, set, set this position for some reason. I couldn't do it that way. I had to put it all in the border, and then the border itself set as a slot, as a canvas slot, and then set that position. I Because we're trying to get it to... Um, the position to be where the mouse is. Uh, so right now I'll show you what I mean when I say that. So right now, as it works, when I click the right button, you see how it moves? It's it's depending on where I clicked on that right mouse button. So. To do that specifically like that, I had to make a border around it and use the border, slot it as a canvas slot, and set that position to set the whole thing in the right spot that I wanted. And then going over that, just a couple things, little um, cosmetic things I did here. I'll just on an on mouse button down, this is going to also remove the, you're going to get the owning player upon get the AC inventory component to call the item menu. You're going to see if it's valid and you're, and you're, you're going to remove that whenever you click the right mouse button somewhere else. This is just in the inventory just to cover our, our bases uh, so that way whenever I click around I click here and then I click here. Now It disappears, you see. Awesome. So thanks for watching. I think uh, we will be moving on to more inventory stuff on the next video. Hopefully, we'll get into maybe a little bit more of that item menu functionality 
and doing a little bit more things with that. Thank you.